All right, what is going on guys? Today we are watching the world's finest assassin gets reincarnated into another world as an aristocrat or something like that. Uh, I'm just going to call it the world's finest assassin <laughs> episode two. Um, I was not expecting to react to this series this season. However, I on a whim watched episode one uh, sometime in the last few days and realized, hey, this is actually pretty cool. So I'm going to start reacting to it from episode two. <laughs> Hopefully it keeps up with the same kind of quality that it gave off in the first episode. I really enjoyed the first episode. It was, it was, it was very isekai, uh, obviously. Um, but it uh, it gave its own little spin on things. The characters seem interesting. The plot seemed gritty and I don't know, good in in a sense. Um, and I I'm definitely looking forward to seeing if it carries on with that quality. But uh, yeah, as always, guys, like the video if you like the video and subscribe to the channel if you are new. And um, let's go into this episode right now. I like how it, when she explained the uh, the terms of reincarnation, it's literally just, yeah, sure, your soul will be kind of reincarnated, but you won't remember anything, and you'll be a completely new person. Like, what's the point in reincarnation then? <laughs> yeah, hell yeah, isekai me, bro. Let's go. This dude is hella cool, and the way he was like flexing his like assassin capabilities in the last episode was kind of sick. Hell yeah, dude. You can still kill people, but with emotions. Why did she want the hero dead? Is she a good person, or a good god, or a bad person, bad god? I don't know. Oh, he's gonna, he's gonna refresh of everything. He's gonna come into this world goddamn built. So is he gonna be an expert in magic, or what? Or is he gonna have his own kind of skill set? Yeah. Why is that a bad thing? Oh. So, does someone still have to take on the Demon Lord? Ooh, okay. Obviously, he's going to be special in some way, even if it's his abilities, weapons, I don't know. Yeah, exactly. That's what he needs. Will it still be lower than the hero, though? Bro. He is going to pick the perfect skills, guaranteed. Bro, comparing this reincarnation on how all the correct questions that he's asking compared to, like, Kazuma is so funny. <laughs> oh, okay, so he's still got to kill the Demon Lord. Got it, that answers my question. Good fucking question. But even she doesn't know if that's possible. The fact that he's asking that though, that's 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 change. Oh my god, this dude. Holy shit, dude. So you have to you should really be choosing S rank skills then, right? Okay, smart, rapid recovery, yeah. Okay, so is he not allowed to choose 5 from S-Class then? I mean, I guess that is a bit crazy. Ooh, okay. He's been really smart about this. Yeah, okay, very smart, very smart. <laughs> It'd be like cooking or something. Ooh, what is it? Ooh. He's found something that is really good in the right hands. It's going to be dark, right? Is that what he's going to pick? Ooh. Damn, okay. I thought you could only choose one attribute. I like how in-depth that, like, kind of choosing his skills was. That was really cool. I really want to see what his D rank skill is. I think that's going to be really interesting. Two head that I can't, I can't even pronounce that name. It's going to be Mushoku Tensai without the perviness, I swear. Hell yeah, dude. I'm hyped for this. This is a cool ass main character. Oh, here he goes. Being born. Damn, his mom is really is a pretty, uh, pretty woman. Lou. Lou Atuahade. That's hard to say. It's just going to be Lou from me. 
Wait, they're going to raise him as an assassin anyway? That's interesting. Convenient. Kian and Ezri. Into, apparently, a family of assassins. Yeah, that's fucking awesome. Oh. Time skip. <laughs> to, I don't know, maybe like 10, 12 years old. Oh no, he's only seven? Holy shit. For the instant he can learn magic, his mana pool is just going to be huge. Nice. I feel like his D skill was cooking. I don't know. Maybe he already knew how to do that anyway. Very smart. This this character is so cool. So they have pressure cookers. Okay. Slightly modern then. Oh, so he's the one who created the pressure cooker. Right? That's interesting. <laughs> oh, okay, so he didn't need the skill in cooking then. And it's probably damn tasty too. Looks tasty as hell. So his parents seem super nice. That's that's awesome, at least. Yeah, and you are a happy family, right? Oh, it's warm and it's with actual family. Hell yeah, dude. Ooh. Is this like an assassin trainer side? More strict. Um, why does he need him to strip? What is... What is he doing? Oh, I see. Okay. Bit of an interesting way to do it, but sure, yeah. I understand. Bro is like really creating like a perfectly built child. Like, she... Damn, is, is he teaching him stuff that he didn't even know from his past life? What operation? Ooh. Oh, very cool. Yes, this is definitely something an assassin needs. Bro, I need this. My eyesight is trash. <laughs> so cute. I like how he's getting babied. <laughs> Bro, there's no way you can even make milk after all these years. <laughs> Bruh. That is impressive as hell. This is the perfect child. <laughs> His eyes don't look very mystic. Oh shit, he can see hella far though. Dude's got fucking Optifine, goddamn. Oh, here we go. You can see mana. Ooh. Which is what? Oh, hell yeah. Let's go. Um. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Dude. <laughs> oh my god, he's actually dressed like that as well. Do you like the outfit, father? Mm. He is, she is like a child, maybe a little bit older than uh, him. <laughs> yes, as did I. Holy shit, dude. Top five? God damn. Dia. Nice to meet you. Okay, so that was the World's Finest Assassin episode 2. Very, very cool episode. The quality seems to be keeping it very well. Uh, obviously, it's only the second episode, but uh, you can kind of tell uh, what a show is going to be like. Um, you know, this you can tell what a show is going to be like this early on. Um, and honestly, it's uh, it's it's doing its part. Honestly, I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to seeing how the rest of the episodes are going to go. Um, 
yeah, I'm I'm really liking Lou as a character. Uh, obviously, in his new kind of life, um, this how his smarts, his kind of tacticalness, his cool is. I don't know. He's just a very charismatic and cool character, I think, and it's definitely going to be awesome to see him grow and learn magic and learn other assassin abilities. Um, get to see some action too. That'd be really cool. Uh, but yeah. That's all I really have to say, guys, and that is that. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I certainly did, and I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a nice rest of your day, and peace out.